Hey YouTube, the John Vanderveer here. I'm doing a response to Bitbutter, his video, What is it about God's commands that make them categorical imperatives? And he says, do Yahweh's commands become moral law by virtue of him being very powerful? Or is there some other reason they think uh, God's commands are categorical imperatives? So... This isn't an argument about does God exist and stuff. He's having a discussion with another guy, and he sort of allows for uh, what, in his opinion, is a hypothetical situation of God existing. So I'm going to continue with that. Uh, and what this comes down to is Euthyphro's dilemma. Uh, the question at hand is, does God do what is right, or is what is right right because God does it. Or, I suppose you could say, is neither the case. Does God do something completely arbitrary and neither is truly morally good? All right, well, the classic, the classic Christian answer to this is that what is right is right because it is in God's nature. In other words, it is not that God does what is right because righteousness is outside of him. God does what is right because being right is an attribute of his character, like me being a white person. It's just who I am. It's who I've always been. So that's the classic Christian answer, is that righteousness is in his character and therefore, and this is not a large 75%, 90%, 99% righteousness. This is pure abstract righteousness. And therefore, anything he commands is therefore rightly commanded because the commandments are done through his nature. He's doing what he wants, and what he wants to do is inter, uh, sort of interrelated, interlinked with righteousness. It's just who he is. Uh, and so these commandments being right commandments lends itself to a moral absolutism, which is moral law. Moral law is saying there is a definite right and a definite wrong. And so when God says, do this, it is therefore believed by the Christian that the thing he commands is a moral imperative. So that's the nature of the game, you know. Um, you know, we can talk about Martin Luther and how he says the imperative does not imply the indicative. In other words, just because God just because God tells you to do it doesn't mean He expects you're able to do it. But nonetheless, He commands you to do the right thing because it's in His nature. You see what I'm saying? He couldn't command you to do something there is anything less than perfect. That's why his commandments are perfect. That's why his commandments constitute a moral law from the viewpoint of a Christian or a Jew. All right, take care, BitLutter. Take care, YouTube.